Welcome to our video for using Active Inspire at the beginner's level. What I want to show you today is how to add resources. The specific resource that I want to show you how to add is that of subjects. So if you first go to the website that I showed you, which was my website, webpages.liu.edu slash msturgeon you'll find a button that says Active Inspire Resources. If you select that, you will see this page that we are now looking at. As you scroll down, you'll see a variety of items, such as two videos. You'll also find a rubric, and then all of these links, which are flip charts that teach you how to use Active Inspire for creating a flip chart. The one we are most interested in is the subjects resource file. It's a very large file so make sure that you have time. It should take about 15 minutes at a high speed internet connection. Click on that and it will automatically download. I have downloaded it already. Uh, save it to your desktop or in your download folder. Now let us go to Active Inspire. And in order to add this resource we want to go to File, down to Import, and select to the shared resources. Shared resources means they're available for everybody that logs into that computer. So for the sake of that, I'm going to use shared. It doesn't really matter. You will be able to get to them either way. I open this, go to my desktop, which is where I downloaded it. Notice that all of these other items are grayed out. Subjects is black, it means it's accessible. And I want to click open, and now it is importing. After importing, it has to index into your resource library. Okay, now that it's complete, I see subjects. So I look at the subjects and I can go to biology, uh, human, let's say if I'm wanting to give a lesson that is specifically on the heart, and I can drag this onto the screen and I can identify the components of the heart. That is the end of this video. Our next ones in the intermediate level will show you how to have some activities in using subjects.